guys, it's another inky morning. So we're going to do another inky nib test. And this morning we're going to take a look at a Hunt Imperial. And this is a zero. So this is a pointed pen nib. I'll zoom in a little bit so you guys can see. There are fins cut into the side. So this should be a very flexible nib. And there is a large breather hole. Whoa, but we're not gonna do it if I lose my nib. So I've got my Tachikawa nib holder here. And I'm just going to put it in there. We've got our little sample cup of FW acrylic ink in Payne's Gray. And we've got our little test swatch of paper. So I think we have just about everything. Whoa, this one puts down a lot of ink. This one is super duper flexible. I think we have everything we need to get started. And I'm gonna try to use a light hand here. or something this large, it seems like it's dropping the ink really quickly. And I feel like for me, there's just not really any way my hand can be light enough Maybe I can move slower. That might be part of the problem. And we're again inking in that troublesome Denik Inktober book. And the plan is if it doesn't work in this, we're gonna try it on the nicer Strathmore Plate Bristol. All right, this is one super flexible nib. If you're a beginner, you may find this to be difficult to control. A lot of spring to it, but it drops the ink onto your paper pretty quickly, which leads to sort of a blobby line art look. That's not really a good look. It's not really a look anybody wants. Now I'm sure there are artists who have much lighter hands than I do, who can make this nib sing for them. And if you're one of them, let me know in the comments, make sure you link your work. I'd love to check it out and see how you're handling the pen and what size you're working at. Maybe I can learn something. And hopefully this video has been helpful to someone, maybe someone who also is struggling with this nib, if only to show them that other artists have problems with it too, perhaps.
you are not alone can be a really powerful message. Working in the face, trying to be a lot more delicate. Still seems like it's putting down a lot of ink. But we're almost finished. And since this has put down such a thick deposit of ink, it's going to take a while for that to dry. We'll start the eyelashes and go back in if necessary, but I'm going to let them dry first. because That's where I tend to tear up the paper the most is on the eyelashes. It's also where they tend to get really goopy and look poorly executed. So that is the hunt. You can almost not read that. M Imperial. Zero. And that is a pointed pen. So I hope you guys found this little quick review to be helpful and useful. I found that if you are heavy handed, this nib might not be a good choice for you. It is very springy, very flexible. Perhaps if you have an ultra delicate hand, this nib might work for you. Or if you're doing calligraphy, I can see this nib being a good nib for you. But for me, as a comic artist, this is just not a suitable nib and it puts down too much ink with each pass. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Keep an eye out for more nib reviews and I hope to see you again really soon. Bye guys.